May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Uh, I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. We'll just have to keep fighting the dragons as best we can. What you're asking for is insane. Impossible. You want me to let a dragon into the heart of my city? With the threat of war on my doorstep? There must be another way. The risk is too great. Alduin. The World Eater himself. But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? I don't know about such things. But I heard the Greybeard summon you. That's good enough for me. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? I want to help you, Dragonborn. And I will. But I need your help first. Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while the dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. Then I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon trapping scheme, but getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe. Hmm. What of the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. High Hrothgar is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. I, Dragonborn. Maybe you can stop the dragons and this war into the bargain. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. We heard the Dragon Ren shout from here. You defeated him? I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the Way of the Voice. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. I see. The dragon will lead you to Alduin, but without the Jarl's help. Parthenax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. You pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the Stormcloaks. Ulfric won't give a 
us a straight answer. He's a true man. The Stormcloaks are fighting victory across the Only the foolish or the courageous approach a Jarl without summons. Do I know you? Ah, yes. Destined for the chopping block, if I'm not mistaken. A fair point. Well, you've come to the right place then. Speak with Dalmar. I'm always looking for able fighters. Not everyone can say they made it out of Helgen. Seems we're all branded villains these days. So long as your criminal past stays in the past. And you fight for me with honor and integrity. We'll welcome you into our ranks. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from Solitude. The Empire's putting a great deal of pressure on White Run. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. He knows that. They all know that. I need to send Balgraf a stronger message. If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gullet. Taking his city and leaving him in disgrace would make a more powerful statement, don't you think? So we're ready to start this war in earnest then? Soon. I still say you should take them all out like you did dead King Torig. Torig was merely a message to the other Jarls. Whoever we replace them with will need the support of our armies. We're ready when you are. Things hinge on Whiterun. If we can take the city without bloodshed, all the better. But if not... The people are behind you. Many, I fear, still need convincing. Then let them die with their false kings. We Speak with Garmar. He'll size you. It's about time they turn their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. Alduin, the world eater of song and legend. If that's true, well, it changes the situation, doesn't it? Even Tullius may be forced to talk sense in the face of such a threat. Yes, I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. What's left of Skyrim to wager? They have families to think of. How many of their sons and daughters? Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice. Shout to him why we think that. Hey, watch it! Wonderful opportunity. Being old's not so bad. Cotter keeps me fed. I remember you. You were at Helgen. Speak to Legged Ricka. I suspect we could use someone like you. I see. Then there's nothing further to discuss. If you change your mind, speak with the Legate. The Greybeards? What do those old hermits want with me? Why, there's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful Emperor. They are getting to be a problem, but I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragons. I'll be the judge of that. Besides, by all reports, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as much as we are from these dragon attacks. Has he? I suppose he doesn't want to miss a chance to bluster about the Empire's many crimes. 
He's probably hoping I'll refuse so he can blame the Empire for being unreasonable. I think I'll have to disappoint him yet again. Yes, yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. The Greybeards have called a peace council at High Rothgar. And can you believe it? Both Ulfric Stormclaw. Violence are gathered here in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength for the next bloodletting. They are not yet tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. And so it has proved. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table, and let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. Everyone is here. Please take your seats so we can begin. I hope that we have all come here no. in the spirit of... You insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos hunter? That didn't take long. Diplomat. Here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. By Izmir's beard. The nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Thou more bitch. Either she walks or I do. Maybe so, but bringing her here is a deliberate provocation. Talius needs to know I won't be pushed around. Well said. Very well, Ulfric. Enjoy your petty victory. The Thalmor will treat with whatever government rules Skyrim. We would not think of interfering in your civil war. Ha! Skyrim will never bow to the Thalmor. Unlike your Imperial friends here. You're lucky I respect the Greybeard's council, Galmar. Legate, we represent the Emperor here. Sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the Dragon Menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. 
I knew he wouldn't be able to resist. A temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar, and do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markar. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely what out of character. I want in return. Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Hmm. The Rift would help secure our communications with Cyrodiil, and threaten Ulfric's southern flank. The Dragonborn has spoken, Tullius. Markarth will be ours. Now we'll see if there's anything behind your talk of good faith. You disappoint me, Dragonborn. I accepted your invitation on trust in your good name. But it seems you intend to favor Ulfric. I can see now that this is not a negotiation at all. I know you, Ulfric. If I hand over Markarth, you'll be ready with a new demand. You'll never defeat the Empire, and you know it. But you're willing to sacrifice thousands for your own selfish ambition. Soon enough, I'll have you back under the Headsman's Axe, and this time there won't be any dragon to save you. As always, the Empire's fine words are worth nothing. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pitiless agreement? Here you sit arguing about nothing. While the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned. The world eater. Even now he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? I don't know about the end of the world, but this dragon situation has gotten out of hand. If this truce will help the dragonborn here put an end to that menace, we both gain. Remember that, Ulfric. Now, back to the matter at hand. You know as well as I do that we can't hand over Markarth on these terms. Show us bones. Where will these demands end? Let's hear it. We want compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You slaughtered the very people you claim to be fighting for. True sons of Skyrim would never do such things. Damned Imperial lies. My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation for this your butchery at... All the blood spilled in this war is on your head. So, Dragonborn, 
What do you say? Well said. For once you'll actually pay for your crimes. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Igmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the Rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. The Stormcloaks will pay appropriate compensation for the massacre at Cartwaystum. You both agree to this? The Sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Alistair? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Ellison. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, Delmar. We have a lot of work to do. Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. Jarl Balgruf, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan. Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains. How to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all? Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? Ah, I believe I can be of help here. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the Library of Skyhaven Temple, an unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the Blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Baldwin has raised up. Ah, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power, shouts. By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to retrieve this dragon after your victory over Aldrin. I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. Ah, indeed. I'm no master of voice like these, worthy gentlemen. But it is written here in this scroll. Oda Vin, winged snow hunter, as I read it. I hope this truth gives you what you want. It won't last. We're ready, Dragonborn. Just as I promised. My men stand ready. The great chains are oiled. We wait on your word. My men know what to do. Make sure you do your part. I'm putting my city in your hands. Another wanderer. Here's hey, my water!
to Ubonar. You went to a great deal of trouble to put me in this humiliating position. In Sir Alduin, hmm? no doubt you want to know where to find Alduin. Renik Vaza, an apt phrase. Alduin, Boval. One reason I came to your call was to test your thumb for myself. Many of us have begun to question Alduin's lordship, whether his thum was truly the strongest. Among ourselves, of course, Muni Maie, none were yet ready to openly defy him. Once Lord Croesus, innumerable pardons, I digress. He has traveled to Sovngarde to regain his strength, devouring the Silesur, the souls of the mortal dead, a privilege he jealously guards. His door to Sovngarde is at Skaldafin, one of his ancient fanes high in the eastern mountains. Mindoran pa ok midoven avarantil. I surely do not need to warn you that all his remaining strength is marshaled there. Zu lost ofan hinlan. Now that I have answered your question, you will allow me to go free? Um, serve you? No. Need aid. If and when you defeat Alduin, I will reconsider. Hmm, Croesus. There is one detail about Skaldafen I neglected to mention. Only this. You have the Thurm of Adova. But without the wings of one, you will never set foot in Skaldafen. Of course, I could fly you there, but not while imprisoned like this. Onikan Korav Gain Mirad. It is wise to recognize when you only have one choice. And you can trust me. Zuni Tarudis. Alduin has proven himself unworthy to rule. I go my own way now. Free me, and I will carry you to Skaldafin. You'll be the toast of White Run for this. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. Incredible. Uh, sir, you have no idea how long I have waited for such an opportunity. I would be most appreciative if you would permit me to perform some, uh, tests of... A captive dragon. Just think of the possibilities. Hmm. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mage's College. Yes, Sauron. I've got my eyes. I assure you, you will not even notice me. Most of them are hardly painful at all to a large dragon such as yourself. Hey, Kron, you sure about that? You want to let that dragon loose after all the trouble to catch him in there? Your funeral. Someone else is gonna have to help you get him back in there again. Get ready to open the trap. This seems like a really bad idea to me. Carry on, soldiers. This is all part of the Dragon Force plan. Hold the button. Asnu, the 
Kiri dein Rufe ausbauen. Are you ready to see the world as only a Dover can? Saran Uth, I await your command as promised. Are you ready to see the world as only a Dover can? So, Brit Uth, I warn you, once you've flown the skies of Kaisal, your envy of the Dolph will only increase. Amativ, mu bo kotin stinselok.
Turn back, traveler. Terror waits within this mist. Many have braved the shadowed veil, but vain is all courage against the peril that guards the way. Near Giant's Gap, in the gloom before dawn, we marched unsuspecting into the Imperial's trap. Then we stood and fought, our shield wall defending, until by dawn's light, the Legion's ranks wavered. But I never knew, if night's end brought victory, a swift flying arrow to Sovereign Guard carried me. I do not know, but none have passed through. Alduin, his hunger insatiable, hunts the lost souls stared within this shadowed valley. Can you lead the way to where Shore's Hall waits, beckoning us on to welcome long sought? I saw it fair when first I trod this long sought path. The pain and fear vanished, dreamlike, and a vision beckoned. Shore's Hall, shimmering across the clouded veil, but quenched was hope by the shrouding mist. My mind is darkened. I've lost the way and wander blindly. Hurry, before Alduin your life devours. Bring word to Shores Hall of our hard fate. I'll try to hold to your hopeful purpose. Quickly, before this encompassing fog once more snares me in the World Eater's net. Life, I felled foes unnumbered, fearless in battle. <gasps> there, turn back before he finds you. What brings you, Wayfarer? A wanderer here in Sovngarde, soul's end. Shore's gift to honor dead, a faithful errand. No few have chafed to face the worm, since first he set his soul snare here at Sovngarde's threshold. But Shore restrained our wrathful onslaught. Perhaps deep counseled your doom he foresaw. No shade are you, as usually here passes. But living, you dare the land of the dead. By what right do you request entry? Ah. It's been too long since last I faced a doom-driven hero of the Dragonblood. Living or dead, by decree of shore, none may pass this perilous bridge till I judge them worthy by the warrior's test. Dead.
Chor's favor has found you, Greg. Welcome, Dragonborn. Our door has stood empty since Alduin first set his soul snare here. By Shaw's command, we sheathed our blades, and ventured not the Vale's dark mist. But three await your word to loose their fury upon the perilous foe. Gormlaith, the fearless, glad-hearted in battle. Hekon, the valiant, heavy-handed warrior. Feldir, the old. Ah, seed, victim. The three await a word to loose their fury upon the At long last, Alduin's doom is now Alduin. ours For to see. You speak the word, and with high hearts, you'll hasten forth to smite the worm, wherever he lurks. Alduin's doom is now ours to see. 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 Alduin's Alduin's mist is more than a snare. Its shadowy gloom is his shield and cloak. But with four voices joined, our valor combined, we can blast the mist and bring him to battle. Far you traveled with trials long. The world is a coward. We fear We must drive away his mist, shouting together, and then unsheath our blades in desperate battle with our black wings. To battle, my friends! The field will echo the clamor of war, our wills undaunted. of shore upon you this day. Defeat Alduin. Alduin, we cannot fight the foe in this mist. Struggle in vain. Stand fast. His strength is failing. Once more, and his might will be broken. No. No.
must at last, and cleanse this sovereign lord of his evil snare. They will sing of this battle in Shores Hall forever, but your fate lies elsewhere. When you have completed your count of days, I may welcome you again with glad friendship and bid you join the blessed feasting. All hail the Dragonborn! Hail him with great praise! When you are ready to rejoin the living, just bid me return now to Nur, with this rich boon from shore, my lord. A shout to bring a hero from Sovngarde in your hour of need. Savor your triumph, Dovatu Mir. 